Cool. We should get the next one going. Ready yeah. to go? Let's get it going. Hopefully you guys have the uh, second episode, or I'm sorry, entry. I keep doing that. Queued up. And again, once you finish an ep- uh, uh, entry, go ahead and queue up the next one just so we don't have to keep mentioning it. But we're going to go ahead and transfer over to Gregory Smith, which is entry number two. Got your mouse on the little play button. Here we go. Three, two, one, unpause. Now this one, I recall, has a long intro. How do we feel about that? In terms of uh, in terms of a, a, the intro. When I see it, I'll remember, and then I'll yeah. I don't quite right, remember yeah. the intro. Yeah. Right. The, uh, the farmyard one, isn't it? I one uh, of the yes. The yes, one, yeah, 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 the the the, yeah, the yeah. thief in the uh, right. In, Which again, from a non uh, coming at it from a non choreography aspect, I like the fact of you're doing something to set up why this is happening uh-huh. and what the situation is. Yes. But again, like before, don't do anything more than what is necessary to make the point. As soon as the point is made, move on. Right. right. I think the problem and with this one is that n- nothing is really gained or nothing is really sort of like, well, why did we have this? It didn't really tell us a whole lot. About and and even even through the sequence, we still don't really know what the point was, what he was searching for, getting, or why not. We're getting that a bit, being said, uh, you you had mentioned that in the email that you, they sent to you, Teague, that this is the first thing that they ever done, right, Teague? Yeah, uh, I got emails from many of the entrants, and uh, these guys apparently have either don't make films often or have literally never made a film before. And I think it's the latter. So, And that being said, it's uh, uh, stunningly well done for people that don't do this a lot, if not ever. And also the uh, the lightsabers look pretty great, too. If this is a first film, this is damn impressive. I yeah. want to get that out yeah, of the way yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah. I want to get that out of the way. With that said, I felt like there's a little bit too much parallel action with the cross-cutting. It was about two or three beats a bit too long. I felt like they could have gotten to the point much quicker. Uh, I, by and large, I mean, fight choreography, a fight can tell a story. And character and story has to be uh, illustrated through the fight. So with that said, I like knowing the, quote, stakes of this. I think that does reflect on the choreography a bit. Um, and, you know, there's and they have a little bit of success with that uh, here. It's just a little long in the tooth. Yeah. There I, are, uh, I think that's a common mistake with... Um, I know it's certainly a mistake I've made plenty of times. And, you know, as a beginning filmmaker is you don't know how to to say something as succinctly as possible and that's a skill you gain over time right i think uh, i think i think they they also enter into the opposite issue here occasionally which is that suddenly they're cutting too fast to really understand how one right. thing flows right. into another right um like the the whole bit where he he pulls the uh the saber the second half out and puts it together and and right. lights the other end right i only really understand what happened because i've seen that so many times before that i get what he's going for right um if if i hadn't if I if I wasn't familiar with that as like a trope of lightsaber fighting, I think it would be very unclear to me mm-hmm. what was going. Also, on. Also, I don't I don't particularly like that posture with both sabers kind of up like that. I don't that that doesn't really open you up to a lot of. You know, it, it may look interesting, but it doesn't it doesn't really open you up to a, like a good attack. Although what I do like about the uh, while they've got uh, the two sabers, which a lot of people don't do, is is he's using both sabers yes. a lot yeah. at the same yeah, time. Yeah, they're doing a pretty good job at keeping him busy with both hands. There. It, it's kind of something to keep in mind if you're going to be doing the the. the the, the joint, the the light staff, the the joint double saber, is that it really does change your range and it really does change the method with which you're going to attack. So it, it may, it's it's awesome to look at, but you really need to think very hard uh, in terms of choreography of what you're going to be doing with that staff. Um, we'll see li- a later entry. It comes about it a bit different way. Uh, but yeah, as I like I like that they didn't spend too long on the double saber. I'm glad they're back to just you know stick on stick here. Unclear to me exactly why that guy ran away. Yeah, or what he was doing there in the first or place. Or why he opened the door. Or, yeah. yeah. I would say, as a, another global comment, there's a, a lot of interesting location choices. This oh, yeah, year. yeah. 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 I was, like, it's like it's yeah. not forest stuff. I it's, was thinking that, that, that it's like people have gotten away from the forest. It's largely yeah. industrial now. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah, I, I kind of like, like that we were in like some uh, some European ruins in our last yeah. one. Yeah, now, now, we're in, doing, now we're in This the, is like the a farm Norman belt. Rockwell lightsaber yeah. Yeah. fight, <laughs> which is fantastic. I like this bit because this guy, I was confused the first time I saw it because <laughs> this guy has transition lenses. So like right there, they're sunglasses now. Right. But I didn't, but they, they hadn't had any close-ups up until that point since they came outside and you only see the close-up after he jumps over the tractor. So I was like, did he just level up or something? <laughs> Is that what? He's like gone Super Saiyan level 2 or something? What's going on here? He's achieved Neo. Yeah, exactly. I liked you. I liked that was a little bit I liked. He he hit the sparks and used the sparks as a method to yep. to blind. That was a, that was I'd like to see more people 
thing like that. I think this year we see a lot of entries where people come up with a little more creative uses of the saber, and I'd like to see things move more in that direction. Actually, another thing, you know, we were saying we got a lot of interesting locations this year. Another thing that I've noticed is we got a lot of people doing a lot of damage with the sabers. There's a yep. lot of hitting walls and throwing sparks and cutting through things, which is great because I think that's that's what, you know, in the context especially of a film, it reminds you that these things are so dangerous because you can't be hitting each other, you know, every five seconds, you know. And the chicken. <laughs> and the chicken. And the wah, chicken. Wah. My, my assumption with this is that it's it's kind of just hanging a lantern, because in other shots you just see the chickens coming in and out, like, hey, what's up, guys? So, like, I feel oh, like they, the they, they put the chicken there just to be like, yeah, there's chickens in there. Just, just, just deal with ignore it. it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. As a note to these guys specifically, because this is your first film, uh, what we were saying a little bit earlier about the choice of your angles uh, for the moves. There was a beat a little bit earlier where the guy throws a sidekick. Uh, and see right here, some of the angles, we kind of lose a little bit of where the moves are going. I like the I like the quickening of the pace of the cutting because we're getting towards the end of the fight. But some of the angle choices don't really illustrate what exactly is happening. And we, it's a little hard to follow at, at times. Although I gotta say again, if this if this if it's really true that these these uh, folks don't make films very job. often, this is spectacular. It's a hell, it's yeah, a hell of a for job. an early film because most people tend to you know sort of yeah. shoot from the side and just kind of you know quickly. Oh, yeah. There's some right. angle choices actually for uh, if awfully good for uh, for people who, who are just getting into. No, it. there this, are some very is... clever angle choices. They just the the what they have to work on now is continuity between the angle choices. Exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, and a progression. You know, a progression of, of shot choices and edit selection. Cool. Ooh. Let's come back to us. No, I, I, I give a I give a lot of props to these guys, especially for their yeah. uh, and all. <laughs> but say but no props year. for sucking up to one of the judges. Right. <laughs> yeah, really. What's that? Well, yeah. yeah. What's the, funny the problem about with that is the lens flare thing. Thank you, Ryan Weber, for use of his lens flare. Yeah. yeah. The the, pro the thing about that is that uh, number one, actually, that uh, Mike made <laughs> that lens flare. I <laughs> simply I merely hosted it. And uh, and also, it's cool, guys. You just just use it. You don't have yeah. to yeah. give I, us a giant. I, Card I'm using it in, in the feature your... I'm finishing yeah. right now. I, I need to put a special thanks to you yeah. in the credits. We're going to need that before the director credit. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go around in the normal direction okay. for the rest of the show. Brian and Trey, you guys? From, uh, from the film fighty angle stuff? How's yeah, that working for uh, you? Very, especially for an early effort. Uh, much better than what I was doing at, the, at that same period of my development. It's, and I'm sure you guys had kind of a similar experience when we first made a fight scene for the first time. I remember we made it and... We were amazed at how fast the footage got used up. Uh -huh. we, we filmed this, you know, what we thought was a long and sure, elaborate. Yeah, you're fight there scene. all day and you get five yeah, seconds. Yeah, it's like, yeah. yeah, ten seconds. We're like, wow, that we we this was supposed to be thirty seconds. Oh fuck us, you know, because uh, fight scenes are very very difficult to film and edit and and make sense. They take time. Make sense in the end. Trey. So, yeah, that was a, a very elaborate uh, scene. Uh, that was you know went on quite a while and uh, you know had a lot of nice changes of, of, of the beats and so on. And I'm always a big fan because that's how I've always worked is is working with what you have. So the fact that they had this picturesque barnyard, they they used the barnyard. They used the you know the the truck trailer. They used the the the, the tractor. They used the chickens. Uh, I thought that was. Uh, I feel that, like that's a worthwhile point to make about I future fights. That. Is it Robert Rodriguez that has the thing about the bus? Yeah, the bus. Yeah, he did, you know it's it's they he he didn't go out and get a bus. He had a bus and he wrote a scene about a bus and people go oh that's nice how he you know he did that. So uh, if how you, could you possibly get a bus? You know, if the point of the, if the point of the of the of this contest is choreography then. And, uh, you know, we're going to give people a pass on costumes and locations yep. and, yes. you know, find another location. And as we said, many people did really creative location ideas in this one, which I think is great. Ryan Weber? You know, it's really cool kind of knowing the backstories on some of these. And, and there are a couple more that have good anecdotes that we sort of bring up and, and discuss in relation to the film. Um, unfortunately, I don't sort of... I, I try not to factor that in. I try to just evaluate all these as I watch them the first time, knowing nothing about them, and just, you know, hey, you, this is your first year. That's great. This is your sixth year. That's fine. You know, it's all sort of on the same, the same, I'm judging you by the same, you know, sort of criteria. Right. Um, I think the thing about this one is, is you know, it's it's very, it's cool they put together a, a, a good little scene that works for the most part. Like we were saying, the continuity and the angles, I think, are something that should be focused on next time. And also, I there's sort of, I think maybe probably you can articulate better, Eddie, that, like, um, I think the stances that they have are, it's all very kind of, there's a certain, you know, unenthusiastic, they're just kind of standing and fighting, and, right. and obviously that's a thing that you learn over time and, and get better with, so I look forward to seeing how they sort of evolve in that direction, and um, I think it has something else, but that's, those are the main beats. Eddie, you want to take